Hello. Test. Uh, check, check, check. Um. Oh, go. Hi. I'm gonna change my shirt. Hello. Hi, everybody. So, um, drinks. You know I love them. Um, we're gonna do some reviews of some drinks I got. So start off, let's start with this. This is some, this is chrysanthemum tea drink. I don't know if I can get that in the shot. The light's a little bright. Chrysanthemum tea drink. I got this, the Kroger. You know me, I love the Kroger. It's so, it's a supermarket. How can you go wrong? So we're just gonna jump right in. We're gonna pop this thing, this baby open and uh, take a sip. Find out. So it smells like green tea. That's pretty good. It's a good start. Mmm. That's really good, actually. It's very, very good. It tastes, it tastes like green tea. That, that's, I'm going, I will buy this again. Let's see what the ingredients are. Water, water chrysanthemum, and cane sugar. Couldn't be better for you, could it? Just tea. It's, it's very good. Yeah. Hmm. Pleasantly surprised by that one. I actually thought this was going to be, um, not good. I thought it would taste like, I don't know, like a dandelion. But I guess dandelion tea would be okay, though. Wow. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Dang. It's good stuff, man. Good stuff. So there you go. Chrysanthemum tea. It's good. Out of ten. Eight. It's pretty high up there. Um, the same company makes this um green tea that I buy a lot. That's very good. Um, and this too. It's very similar. Um, I give that a pretty high score. Very, very good. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Moving on, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm gonna finish this and uh, we we'll back with more more drink reviews. Hi everybody. Okay, I'm back. To finish my current stand home tea. It's good. So, moving on. Next thing by the same company. I got this drink called White Gourd Drink. Um, what this means? I don't know what it means. But let's shake it up, because I presume you have to shake it. Pop it open. Let's pop this baby open. Oh, give it a try. You hear that? Ooh. Can't open any noises. Nice enough. You ready? You gotta take a first sip. Uh, oh, jeez. Mmm. <laughs> oh, God. That one's not bad. That one's not good. Tastes like, um, caramel. Actually, it just tastes like caramel. I didn't really expect it. It's just really sweet. It's, like, way too sweet. Wow. I can't believe that company makes the same thing. That's, that's bad. That's not as good as I would like it to be. Wow. Okay. Jeez. Maybe I'll finish it. Maybe I'll get somebody else to finish it. We're going to put it over there for a second, though, because I'm not going to finish it right now. Let's move on. Okay. Now, uh, next thing we got here is this. Aloe drink. I like aloe, I think it's good for you. You rub it on, you know, it's aloe vera, you know. 
Bring your drinks, your your wounds and stuff. <sighs> okay, so let's read this, because I really want I'm interested. Okay. Aloe drink is a sweet, refreshing drink freed from real bits of aloe. Our aloe drink is full of real aloe, blah 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 blah. Cool and refreshing drink. So ingredients. Water, sugar, aloe vera, aloe vera powder, citric acid, other stuff, but okay, we're again, you know me, just jumping right in. So it's not in a can, which, you know, is okay. It's my I think this might be my first uh Ooh. Ooh. It smells like peach. Ooh. It has a, it's really it's citrusy. It's um It's not bad. The only thing I it's like there's little bits of aloe floating around in it. Um which actually isn't that bad. Mm. It's actually really, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Like, I couldn't imagine drinking it, like, at, like being a refreshing drink, like drinking it after a run or whatever, like you drink Gatorade. And because of the bits in it, just is a little gross going down, but, um... I actually have put the top back on. I'm gonna save it for later. I'm gonna drink more of this later, because that's, it's pretty good. Not bad. Um... Oh, yeah. Uh, numbers. Uh... Seven out of ten. White Gordon drink gets four out of ten. Until further notice. So now the main event. The event everyone's been waiting for. So as you may or may not know, a couple weeks ago, um, I got a tweet uh, from Red Bull the company and they said they said okay, I'll give you free we'll give you let's I'll send let's here's some free Red Bull I've never tried Red Bull before but they sent me this not only did they send me this I thought I would just get this they sent a handwritten note can you see that it's handwritten maybe I can get it out of the way handwritten note Right? Some poor temp in the Red Bull office. They were like, hey, you have good handwriting. You gotta write like a thousand notes to <laughs> send people on Twitter. <laughs> so, he did. So, there you go. Let's read these. Huh. Okay. It says it vitalizes your body and your mind. I use, I need that. And of course, this isn't going to be, um, you know, the regular deal uh, because people drink Red Bull all the time. It's not the most rare beverage, um, which makes it maybe a little less interesting. I thought about this a lot. I thought maybe I wouldn't even do a drink review on it, but uh, I feel maybe obligated to at least... Uh, even if not even given a, even if I don't even give it a score, I at least um, pop them open and uh, give them give them a try uh, on camera. So we've opened it up and uh, Red Bull, uh, cute little cans. I think they're cute. I like them. I like that color scheme. Um, I like I've you know I've seen like all their all their advertisements on uh, the television, you know, like with the cartoons. And some of them are pretty distasteful, but um, wow, I've never seen a Red Bull can actually, but they have a little imprint of a bull on it. That's pretty sweet actually, and it comes in this nice little compact can. Uh, so where is caffeine? 80 milligrams. Okay. Let's pop one open. Ooh. I love can opening noises. They're nice. <laughs> Smells 
a little bit like trash. Take a sip. I might throw up, actually. Um, I'll take a sip. It's not too bad, actually. Kind of like grape. Mm. It's actually not too bad. It smells a lot worse than taste. Taste-wise, that's not too bad, though. It tastes like, um... Like a, one of those little glucose tablets that you uh, eat if you're diabetic. No one's gonna understand. No one's gonna get that one. <laughs> well, if you've ever eaten a glucose tablet, that's what it tastes like. They're kind of like a tart. It tastes like purple. You know, like that purple flavor. It's not technically, it's technically grape, but it doesn't really taste like grape. It's purple. Anyways. That is not too bad. I gotta say Red Bull. Um, I don't, so I don't drink coffee. I don't really have a need to be energized any more than I already am. So... This might be the only time I'm uh, I'll ever drink this, but if I if, if in the future I'm like oh I need to get some energy drinks I need to stay awake that's my if I'm ever like I need to get some energy drinks I get some Red Bull tastes not bad so there you go I'm gonna drink the rest of this and of course as per usual um in a couple in like thirty minutes I'll uh, give you an update on uh, how I feel. Hi. It's been like 45 minutes, so uh, not feeling too different, honestly. Just hanging out. I feel like I could go to bed. <laughs> Didn't do anything. If anything happens, I guess I'll check back in, but yeah. it tastes fine, it tastes okay. They didn't really do anything though, so there you go. My full review. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Cool. <laughs>